Hi right, guys, thought I'd do an update today. Haven't done one for a while. Um, I know I keep saying that, but I mean, it's not worked too much at the minute simply because I just focus on the work, get it done. Um, but it's like last weekend we went down to Cartagena. Um, I'll upload some shorts on that. Um, but I've sort of been spending more time with the family and stuff. So I, my priorities are sort of more focused on family this year because normally I'm focused on work. And to be fair, I'm not happy in my current role. I'm not happy with the company. Um, not going to get into it too much because quite simply, it's it's not a good place to be. And the amount of people that have left is probably 40 plus people. But anyway, um, but one of the things I've been doing is one of, one of the key things is to remember that if you're not happy somewhere, change it. If you stay, it's your fault. So, um, so one of the things I've been doing is lots of training courses. Um, I'll get into that too much because it's boring, but the, the, just to sort of boost my CV. Um, but a couple of interesting things I got. Got my car towed um, last week. <coughs> Funny enough, Wednesday today, because it's market day. Um, I normally park just over the back here, but I was actually on the wrong side of the pedestrian crossing because I was on this side, I was fine, but on that side was the last market vendor space. I'm sure there's no signage up there, but hey ho, that was, uh, I think it's about, what was it? Something like 60 euros for getting towed, then you have to pay a fine to the police for about 40 euros because obviously you can't just pay one thing, can you? You've got to go to different places. Um, the the towing office, just for information, is near Habaneras. Um, if you know where the Habaneras is, opposite is the police station, and it's at the back of that. Um, you just got to go down to the little office there, pay your fine, you can get your car back. And then um, the police fine, you just pay online. Uh, the guys in there are quite helpful after fleecing you for money. So, um, I mean, myself, I wasn't too fussed, to be fair. I said to my wife, I like, I'm not even going to get into it. I'm not let people annoy me. Because the fact is, the reason I was parked there in the first place is they dug all the road up down here. So they're putting new drainage all the way down, fenced it all off, took the whole road out. Um, hence, everyone sort of pushed to this edge. Um, but like I said, where it was, it's been there for weeks and it's literally probably four foot to the left rather than to the right. Um, so I wasn't expecting the market to be there, but uh, just one of those. I, said, I, c I can't even be bothered with it now. <laughs> I'm just not that interested. Um, yeah, nearly 100 euros out of pocket, but there's more things to worry about. Um, yeah, so that, that that was that. The drainage outside is a bit of pain. Um, not, it's, to be fair, not the actual work, it's just the noise. Because I'm trying to work up here, and it's just like um, they've had plant equipment constant. Because um, they've had like whacker plates and stuff condensing the ground, and then you've got uh, things like the uh, excavators going up and down. It's just been noise, noise, noise. Um, which for me, I find irritating when I'm working. I don't like noise. I'm a quite quiet person. I like things to be nice and silent. I'm off the time even in the morning. My routine is get up, have a coffee maybe watch some updates on YouTube and then uh, have my second coffee and come up to work. I don't like doing anything out of that routine first thing in the morning, that first hour is like just that's my time, that's my set myself up for the daytime. So getting up first thing is noise because they, they were starting um, first thing in eight o'clock in the morning. <coughs> you probably think well, you're up late getting up at 8 it's not that it's the UK work time we're an hour ahead so I generally get up at 8 because they 
start work at eight. So in theory, I start work at nine here. Um, but like today, buzzing around, little mosquito in my ear. So I'm up at like half six. Um, I'm gonna just start work early today. Um, in it early, out early. And that's one of the good things about the type of work I'm doing. Although the work I'm doing isn't actually my job. Um, it's, it's predominantly data driven. Um, but hey, uh, not getting into companies. Oh, what's that? Oh, the police car down there. Must be. I wonder what he's upset. A bit early in the morning. But that's, I mean, that's one of the things I will say about being in Spain. You do see a lot more police than you would in the UK on a regular basis. Because um, obviously they've got multiple police services. You've got the uh, Garda Civile, which are a bit more... <coughs> um, can't say the word official because that's unfair. It's, shall we say, more bureaucratic and dealing with the more complex stuff. Where the police are local and more like community based. I think that's an easier way of doing it. Because I think the Guardia um, are an overspill from the Franco years. Um, and, and to be fair, you don't really see much trouble in where we are. Um, I mean, uh, I do see some strange stuff in Tolareca where there's car crashes and police chases. And I do wonder how they get cars in, through Tolareca at high speed in the first place. Because um, they do end up with police cars and things all mangled up you know in the sense of they've had to ram a car or whatever and every now and again you'll see that sort of stuff um, but generally most things don't affect the majority of people um, there is petty crime lots of uh, your shoplifters and uh, not shoplifters your pickpockets um, some market days, don't matter which part you were, Guatemala, Mata, Torreca, just keep it on your wallet. Um, recommend not taking your wallet on market day, except for your driving license, because you could have your license on you. Um, but pickpockets are a pain. Um, I'm not going to say my political views and what to do with these types of people, because they are, for me, the lowest of the low. Um, But yeah, market days, just be careful with your money. Um, one of the things I will say about the market days though, do recommend the chicken. Um, just to be aware, chicken's gone up in price. You know, roast chicken, rotisserie chicken, I think it was last week 11 euros for a full chicken. <coughs> Which um way more than you'll get from Morrison's rotisserie chicken in the UK. Um, but the chicken's good, they, they do pork ribs as well, which are really good, and get the, mushroom, the potatoes, the roast potatoes with the um, the drippings on it, it's really good as well. Um, so I do a lot of those on the market day when they're here. Like I said, it's not a cheap meal. The chicken's gone right up in price, because it used to be, I think it was about six euros before, so it's, it's pretty much doubled in price. Um, shocker but beyond that not a lot else going on at the minute oh, please come around again oh, I know what it is it's the market day yeah what they'll be doing is they'll be driving up the streets looking for cars like mine last week and getting them all towed that's what he's doing I was like it's a bit early this morning that's that's what it is. He's he's clearing all the spaces for the market vendors. Because they'll be radioing in for the tow trucks to just come in and grab the cars. Yeah. Cartagena. Yeah. Getting sidetracked with the police here. Cartagena was really good. Um there's a few museums there and I've got to admit we missed them a few times because quite soon when we go out I've got this really bad habit of just doing stuff. Um, like literally I'll just go, you know what, let's go out for the day. Or 
like now we've got the Easter weekend coming up and I start thinking, do you know what? She'll go away for the weekend. And that's like we're leaving in a couple of hours. There's not like a planning thing, it's just we just do it. Um so when we went down to Cartagena, in the port area, as you go sort of, um, it's sort of like you go into the port area and you, you'll see where they, the, na the big uh, naval ships are. You follow it around. Um, there's a, a place, I think it's called Armada, they call it. Hang on, I'm thinking about Arsenal. That's it, Arsenal. I think that's the, the naval base. There's a big like arch and stuff on there. <coughs> Not far from there is a multi underground car park. Um, recommend parking in there because it gives you easy access to the museum that's not far from there. And that's the Naval Museum, which has got a big submarine in it. Um, lots of things to look at, diving gear and historic stuff. A lot of um, small ships, you know, from over the years. Uh, you know, model ships. And you've got a mini submarine in there. Uh, you've got a big submarine and a mini submarine in the sense of a two two person submarine. Um, they recommend a three three euro donation um, per person, which they don't have any card. I couldn't pay anything on card, so we pay what we could because I don't carry much cash like most people these days. This is a problem. Um, but that's well worth wandering around. And then further in the town, further around, <coughs> there's a military museum that's got a lot of artillery pieces in there. That's definitely worth uh, an hour in there, easy. Um, and that's on top of going to the, the castle on the hill. Um, <coughs> I think the, the Colosseum, they, they're starting to renovate, uh, excavate because the Colosseum, I believe, the bull ring was put on top of. Um, we haven't been back there for a couple of years, but they were working on that previously. And if you go up under the castle, you can you can see that. And you can see a, a couple of other developments. Because um, you're up on the hill, you can see a lot of other bits of Cartagena going on. Do recommend spending the whole day in Cartagena. Just going to the Naval Museum and the Military Museum this time was five hours. Because we come out, you know, went out. Um, had lunch on the way back, and then I'm like, oh, park it, 10 euros for parking. I thought, I haven't been that long. And then uh, you realise it's five hours. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a good good day out. Great for the family. It's not far from Tolerecki. It's just straight down the um, the motorway. I'm not sure they've still got the toll road when you come back up, because I'll do a cheeky thing, where I shoot down it, and then I'll come up so far, then I'll come off. Uh, by Pilar and come up and round because I know up near Lazinia I've had it a few times where we end up paying tolls so I try and avoid that little last bit um, but yeah it's a good day out um, I mean people ask me about Torreca what, what do I recommend doing Torreca here on holiday um, first thing is the food try and do stuff that's a little bit different I like the tapas and and have a look round because there's crappy tapas and there's good tapas. Um, I mean, La Mata's Las Flores is really good on the tapas, um, but there's other places around La Mata Torreja that have got good tapas. There's a lot of nice Spanish restaurants around. Um, also recommend down by the harbour in Tolareca, it's a Japanese restaurant where it's got the, you know the ones where you can cook on the grill where they bring the meat and you cook it yourself, that's quite good um, then obviously if you're into fish and chips and that type of stuff here in La, La Mata area in Tolareca there's um, Tweeties is okay for fish and chips um, if you're over Casada way obviously Casada fish and chips but I haven't been there for a while either um, I mean that's the food side, sort of covered on the basics. I don't know if you, you've got favourite restaurants, please feel free to stick them in the comments. Um, 
But for me, the matter the nature parks, the, a good one. You know, if you like photography, nature park every time. Um, if you like squirrels or photography and don't want to walk that far, the, the there's a park down here. Uh, the water park is good for squirrels and um, a walk around. But I do find too many people walk their dogs there, and the problems where it comes with people that are crap dog crap dog owner, owners. Um, that's that's quite a good one. Um, not for the dog owners, but for <coughs> the water park. Then if you go into Tonoreca itself, you've got the submarine, uh, the El, Dolf El, El Dolphin. Um, <coughs> that's worth a visit. There's a lot of stuff scattered around. You, you've just got to spend a bit of time looking for it. There is little tourist maps and there is stuff online. Um, but one of the key things I will say is throughout the year, keep an eye on what events are coming up. Because you may have to time it right for some of the good events. Um, the, there's a rock for concert, rock concert coming up later in the summer, for example. Um, rock for cancer. That's normally good every year. Um, <clears throat> but there's also other events that go on all the time. Definitely worth keeping an eye out. Definitely. I, I do find the advertising's pretty atrocious in the area to actually get what's on constantly. But if anybody's found a good website that actually has everything on it, please share it. Um, one of the key things in La Mata is go to the town hall regular and you can see things on the window, ask in there, because there's always events on there like no doubt we've got events this weekend because it's the Easter weekend. Um, so there'll probably be some religious um, pieces going on in the town and we had one was it last Saturday I think it was last Saturday no last Sunday sorry there, there was um, where they take the statue through the town etc that happened last Saturday um, so there's always something going on I mean I'm looking out the window now and all the, the vans are arriving for the market because every Wednesday it's market day in La Mata, um, where car parking becomes a pain, um, but it does mean you've got a lot of fresh produce on your doorstep. Uh, but anyway guys, that's my little update. As you can see, I'll switch the light off. It's looking like a nice day out there. Windows are a bit dirty because we've had that lovely uh, dust and sand and bad weather from the Sahara. Um, because it, I mean, the, the car looks like it's been in the desert. There's that much dust on it. Um, but anyway, guys, that's my update for this week. Have a great week. Hopefully, nobody bugs you at work or um, hope things go well. Thanks for watching.